What's up guys, it's me, Sue7972, and thank you for joining us here at Katima XP. Today we are playing Metal Gear Solid Online, and today I'm also going to show you how to utilize the box effectively. I'm also playing with a demolition build, meaning every time I get killed, I also drop a grenade. So I'm going to show you some good examples of how to utilize these perks effectively. Again, you know, the box. I know it's ridiculous, but we c we've come to know that Metal Gear has, uh, has a ridiculous take on stealth combat action and I'm gonna show you how effective the box can actually be because because you know 90% of the environment in the maps in Metal Gear Online actually doesn't have any moving elements so anything that is moving is obviously a player or an enemy so taking a good example here a walker is coming out and is raging havoc through the map I try to blend in it doesn't see me because he thinks I'm part of the environment I pop out shoot him in the back and uh, yeah that's a clean kill right there so let's take a look at the replay here. As you can see, I'm a sitting duck. The Gatling gun from that walker can plow me real good, and I'd stand no chance against its front armor. But he didn't see me, so I decided to take my time, pop out, and get a clean kill. Now, it's important to take note that for some reason, you can't reload inside the box. You'll have to pop out and reload every time. That's just the game mechanic, so make sure you switch to your secondary if you're still in the fight. Now over here I decided to get rid of my box in order to move faster so that I could help a friend that's actually pinned down. But that is just a little out of my range and I ended up getting a draw. Now the box does deteriorate through uh, gunfire, water, and rain, and you can only carry two at a time, so uh, just make sure you use it sparingly, it'll just reset when you die. Uh, over here I will also demonstrate how to use the demolition perk uh, effectively, as you can see I am already being surrounded, and I didn't react in time, but I have a grenade over here and I took one out with me. Now I felt sorry for my next opponent here because that player really got some good moves to actually kill me. CQC'd me faster than I could kill him, dodged around to confuse me, and then finally landed a kill. Almost a clean kill because I have the demolition perk, but boom! <laughs> sorry. Now a lot of people think that the demolition perk dropping a grenade after getting a kill is a cheap move, but hey, it's part of the game and uh, so it's part of the rules. Nothing to complain about there, right? It's also a great way to rack up the kills because sometimes you can get lucky and uh, snatch two or even three people with the demolition perk. Now this next player here is obviously just being reckless, running around and not paying attention to the environment. Oh, that's my bread and butter right there. Um, you can't just run around anywhere you want because obviously uh, better players will see you and uh, you'll just easily get tagged. You also can't go guns blazing in this game because every time you fire your weapon, uh, you actually reveal yourself in the map. So like there, this guy was firing his sniper rifle all over the place. He tried to run away, but he couldn't get out in time, so I tagged him. Now obviously someone's laying fire on me and I cannot be protected by my cardboard box, so I had to take cover. I tried to switch to my grenade launcher and uh, can't hit him because uh, he's getting lucky, so I switched to my primary weapon and uh, tagged another one. Now, I noticed that a lot of players were being stacked in this area, so I kind of got greedy. But uh, I have the demolition perk, so I was hoping to get lucky. Um, got one over here. Uh, just a quick tag. But then I was surrounded by many enemies. They were gang banging on me. Um, surrounded. But I have the demolition perk, and I think I took two of them with me. So yeah, there you have it. The demolition perk. Very useful. Here I managed to circle around and tag some of the enemies from behind. Uh, the other guy ran away because he probably didn't know where the fire was coming from. And then I switched to my secondary because I've exhausted half of the clip of my primary and I'm still in the fight. I obviously don't want to expose myself and look like an idiot while trying to reload. I'm just waiting for him to reveal his position right there um, while he's laying fire on my comrades. Uh, he's on the other side of the mountain. I know where his position is, so I decided to get rid of my box. I'm still on my secondary and it's effective on close quarter combat. I decided that, uh, you know, I can tag him with this the submachine gun and there you have it. A little bit of smoke screen being thrown over here, but I managed to get lucky and uh, tag anything that was actually moving. Um, I don't know what I was doing on this one. I uh, tried to tag a few people hoping to get lucky on long range, but uh, my gun is not 
designed to shoot from that far out. I was just trying to get lucky. And, uh, you know, I don't want to go in there because that is just stacked with enemies right now. Obviously, I'm just trying to get lucky and trying to get a shot here and there. Let them know that, you know, I can shoot from there. I can shoot from that range. Oh, and a guy tried to creep beside me, but I have the demolition perk and took him out with me, even with the stealth camo. Now, the box also kind of helps you keep a low profile, even if you're shooting around um, and revealing your position. They're still trying to figure out where those shots are coming from, and they'll probably, uh, they'll probably react too late. Now here I'm exposing myself by trying to reload, trying to shoot through the, uh, the fences on the bridge, trying to get that grenade launcher there. Here, I can't believe it. I can't believe he didn't die from that grenade launcher. That was just unlucky on my part. But I, I thought I had him. I really thought I had him with my grenade launcher. This opponent froze. This opponent was like, what is that thing? He didn't know what he was looking at. He just froze, looked at it, and it was probably too late. <laughs> This is what I really love about the box because people are still trying to figure out what it is and uh, you can just pop up and surprise them anytime. As you can see, that's a stealth camo right there and people can really spot it because it's a moving object. Oh, I'm getting shot real good here, but I used the uh, wall for cover. I managed to get lucky on that part. Now it's time for me to get up there and get him real good. See if I could just tag him. Oh, too late. Someone else got to him. That's all right. Holy crap, we are getting hammered. I gotta hide. Blend with the object. Be one with the environment. <laughs> and hopefully no one will see me in time. Oh, right there. Stealth camo. See it moving too late. Probably didn't see me because I was like part of the environment. Ninja style. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my time here while everyone else is actually duking it out. Um, I'm just gonna tag players. I'm gonna play the camping game. Um, this is a stealth video game after all. So... Uh, I gotta keep it calm. A, a lot of players like to go gun blazing, especially as an enforcer, um, but that's not my style. Oh, got him. No, it's a draw. That is a draw, all right? I'm so defensive. I apologize. So I kind of got him back for that last one there, and now I'm just going to start blending in. I love this area here because there are so many boxes, so I could totally easily blend in with the environment be the box you are the box oh i see someone running can i get him nah he's too far that's out of my range um i'm good but i'm not that good i'm just gonna try to blend in over here be part of the box sometimes you should just pick your props <laughs> to go alongside with your box oh i'm getting shot um diving out hopefully using the box as a decoy it's still there i still have one more box hopefully i can utilize it um, he's probably gonna go after me, so I'm gonna blend in. Oh, I stepped on a trap there as well So he's gonna probably come after me sooner or later um, Maybe he's on a stealth camo too. Oh, yes, he is there. You have it tagged him. It was too late He couldn't react on time. He said like what is that thing? <laughs> so There you have it the box Now, if you need to, you can sacrifice a box to dive out and get out of fire. Um, obviously, right here, I'm using a submachine gun. It's obviously out of my range, so I switched to my primary, and I managed to get lucky and tag him. Now, you shouldn't be afraid of using the box in the middle of nowhere. Don't be afraid to be a sitting duck. As long as you're not moving, average players will not see you. And uh, just wait till they reveal their position by firing around, like you see there. You just pop out and uh, you tag them. That's a clean kill right there. And they didn't even see you. And by the time they do see you, it's probably too late because not a lot of people utilize this technique. Now, I've reached already uh, level 19, and I still haven't seen any different kind of box. So, obviously, if you have this cardboard box in this kind of environment, you're going to stick out somehow. Uh, thankfully, the nighttime kind of helps. But, uh, yeah, there's only one type of box so far. Oh, don't come too close to me. I have a demolition perk. And uh, you just helped me level up. Thank you very much. Uh, but, yeah, only you have to pick your spots where you can actually blend in. Um, I'm not sure if it actually blends well with the forest, but uh, there are parts there that are uh, that are easily blendable. And at night, it's not really a big problem uh, because it is already very hard unless you're using night vision goggles uh, for you to be spotted. 
Now, sooner or later, people will catch on to what you're up to. Uh, take this, for example. I tried to get into the boss because I see a player coming and I wanted to take them by surprise. But no, bam! I didn't even have a chance. And uh, they got me a headshot right there. Because they were probably... Uh, it was probably obvious that was that's what I was going to. And uh, they catch on. So you can't use this, uh, this technique all the time. Uh, just pick your spots and when they start a new game, especially in auto-matching, um, you can just restart and use the technique again. But uh, yeah, if you abuse it, obviously people are going to catch on. No! What happened? I got disconnected. No, no! I was so in the zone there. Well, I guess that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, Kip. I hope it was helpful. Uh, don't forget the box demolition perk. A very very helpful build that's actually my favorite build and hopefully I can get more boxes and more weapons to help me uh, in getting those kills uh, so thank you very much leave a comment tell me what you think about this style if it's your style or if it's not your style let us know um, and of course try to help us by pressing that like button and subscribe thank you once again guys and I'll see you again in our past present and future videos this is Sue7972 here for Katima XP have a nice day